mind a guy looking at another female when we're in public. Females and women are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get to know mine. Probably. You got a travel budget? I got a travel budget, I do, <laughs> I do. You wanna give it a go? What's good world, this is your boy Blogzilla and you're watching the No Judgment Zone. As you know, I always have a wonderful guest today. I have the lovely Maya with me. What's going on? Hello there, how are you? I am very well, I'm happy. I finally got to meet my girlfriend. We used to go together way back in the day. You don't know it yet, but you were like, my, my, you was like my girlfriend. You know, everyone have like, Maya was my girlfriend. Really? Yeah. How does it feel to have this EP come out? I just put out an EP on Valentine's Day. What was that experience like for the see out, for, for the put it out and to get the response back? Well, I always release something for my fans, uh, Christmas Day or Valentine's Day. But this year was uh, particularly a treat for me because I uh, celebrated 16 years that particular day. That was uh, 16 years ago. I released my very first single, It's All About Me. So it was a special moment and I wanted to give my fans something a little bit more than a song. And it was independent, sitting in the archives for a long time. I stay in the studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, it was well received, so I was happy and relieved. The part on the EP where you said, I'm, I know I'm paraphrasing, I'm messing this up, but you mentioned being like a trophy girlfriend. I did? On one of the songs, yeah, you said something about being a trophy girl, you don't want to be a trophy girl. Oh, okay, yes, I, I said I, I'm more than a souvenir. More than a souvenir. Yeah, so I'm paraphrasing, I knew it. Um, do you think that when you get into relationships being Maya, that people sort of put you as a trophy? Because you're a very beautiful woman. I don't think that way. I think, you know, women are sometimes labeled or possibly pursued as or looked at as sometimes objects. You know, surface mm -hmm. in younger, less mature relationships. It's usually surface attraction. Let's start there. And then you hear all kinds of new school lingo, like main, <laughs> you know, like side and trophy or wifey. I'm like, what are those things? I don't do main. Okay, I don't do number one, because that means there's a number two and a number three. I don't like that kind of stuff. Main, well, what does that mean? That means there are others. I don't like those kinds of words. Also, I don't mind trophy because it means it's a prize, but there is work to do, which like a woman describes, there's work to do to get to know me. That's what a relationship is. Get to know me. All of the surface stuff that is here, gone tomorrow. Now what has it been like because <laughs> you're independent now, mm -hmm. um, but you sold million, you went platinum on a major before. Mm -hmm. um, what has the label situation been like for you mm -hmm. recently? I've been independent since I parted with, with Motown in 2007. Um, there was an album leak, you know, it was negligence on their part. But I'd spent about a year and a half recording that album. My lawyer advised that I just walk away instead of spending time in court for about a year mm -hmm. or two. You know, swaying for a back end of my advance. So I just chose the independent route to see what that was like. And I've learned a lot of things as a businesswoman and how to assemble a project from A to Z. All of the components and teams that are required to roll out an album. Mm -hmm. But just on an independent level, and I've done it internationally. And um, yeah, I'm ready to possibly entertain major labels now, now that I have something more than artistry to bring to the table. Now, um, there's been a thing going on on Twitter. Um, Everyone says even the most beautiful women get cheated on. Or show me a beautiful woman and I'll Absolutely. show you a guy who is tired of sleeping with her. Has Maya ever been cheated on? Absolutely. Who cheated on you? Of course. I mean, with the lifestyle that I have to pursue, mm -hmm. my profession requires I be on the road. So it gets uh, <laughs> challenging yeah. to the other party that might not necessarily understand or has not been brought around my world to see that when I'm in the studio for 72 hours in my pajamas and I haven't taken a shower and I'm engineering and nobody's there that you shouldn't be accusing me of things that are not happening. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy stuff. The trust factor, but I think when you take your time to bring people into your world in every capacity, you have to take your time for someone to get to know you and for them to get to know you, you have to put them in different compartments of your life from your friends to your family to your workplace to traveling and you have to have a budget to move them around too so mm. they can experience that because guess what I have felt like guys feel when y'all are getting accused mm. like non-stop I'm like are you serious who comes up with this kind of <laughs> stuff I so 
usually the accusers are the cheaters, you know? You have to also find someone that is done playing the field. That is very true. They have to be done. Because you can have a good guy who's just not ready to be <laughs> settled down. And I, I say that all the time. Like, I found a and good then, woman. She just wasn't ready to settle down. And then you have to define cheating, you know? Yeah, what is cheating? What is cheating? So all of these girls that you text in your, in your phone right now and they're sending all kinds of crazy videos and poses, that's cheating. That is, because that's if you found any of that in my phone because you voiced that you don't want me to find even a guy's name that you might know in my phone, uh -huh. then what you're doing is cheating times 10. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you have to define cheating. Okay. Clearly. So, so now, <laughs> let, 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 let's take it a step further. Uh, so if, if I'm on Instagram and I double tap one of those pictures, is that cheating or is that no, okay? when you admire a female, or whatever it is that you admire, you're admiring that. I don't mind a guy looking at another female when we're in public. Females and women are beautiful, mm -hmm. but don't create double standards in a relationship. Yeah. Don't ever do that. Don't have a problem with me when I want to look at some eye candy over here because I'm allowing you to look at some eye candy over here. Mm -hmm. It's a fair situation. It's a two-way street. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to get to know mine. <laughs> Uh, I am. I want to get to know. <laughs> I don't think I could. I don't know. No, no problem. You got a travel budget? I got a travel budget. I do. I do. As long as you got Wi-Fi, I can travel anywhere you want to go. I got freaking flight miles on deck. I'm good. I got a travel budget. The dude that cheated on you, did you put did you put him into music? Is there a song about him? Oh, you can you can listen to all of my albums <laughs> and find out. You so know. From, from, I've been hurt. Mm -hmm. from, from the new one, what line? Is about someone. Can you tell me a story? Not you don't say names, but a line is about someone from your past that you was like, this one is about him. For the new EP. Mm -hmm. Oh, with love is a strictly positive EP. It's not about you know the turmoil mm -hmm. in relationships or heartbreak or anything like that. It's uplifting, elevation music. Yeah, that's it. Great song, great vibe. But is there anyone that no, no song reminds you of anyone? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who's the last person to get the best of you? <laughs> Myself. <laughs> <laughs> I cook your dinner, wash your clothes. Baby, help no, that's not the way it goes. It's all about me tonight. Yeah. I ain't stop loving you. Cause you're still my boo. You're still my boo. And you gotta see Tonight is all about me, 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 me <laughs> We're gonna cut the cameras off and I'm trying to arrange this movie date Join us next week No, seriously <laughs> Join us next week when we French braid the hair in a gorilla's back so What, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone out there, I am Maya and you are watching Global Grind TV I like to find these stories, you know and tell these stories in an entertaining way, you know. Because when I read this script, it's when it don't come. How I handle it. <laughs> bitch, you gonna get my money back. I'm flying to you. I'm gonna spend my money to come fly to see you, bitch. And how